I'm cooking for dinner, guys, on this Sunday. I know earlier I, um, well, today is Sunday, guys, February 27th. And I went live earlier. I don't know when this video is going to come out, but this is February 27th. I went live earlier. <laughs> And um, ask a few trivia questions. And I didn't show myself. Um, my camera was off because, yes, I am still kind of under the weather. Um, but I tried to fix myself up a little bit, right, y'all? A little bit. So I can... Um, Record myself playing in this kitchen of mine. And 
After I'm done with cleaning the kitchen, I'm going to clean my oxtails on camera. These are all my little nice um, little containers I've been using to take to work, like if I have lunch. Nice little containers.
with a nice a house or a bigger apartment or something. But I'm thankful for what I have. I really am. I am appreciative for what I have. And I don't have to have this, you know. I can be a something way smaller. I love these old microwave covers, guys. Oh my goodness, it will save your microwave. It will save your microwave from all that splattering. Still need to uh, uh, upload my. I think it's four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's four different short videos that I'm going to upload of the stuff that I'm using for my face. It's all a Vino product. A Vino product. Um, I've been using it so far. Um, for the past maybe week and a half and also um 100% Palmer's cocoa butter so guys as you know my face I'm thinking I think it's stress guys I really believe that it is the stress it's the stress that um that's causing my breakout you know it's a lot going on so but i think it's clearing a little bit if you see my face here um don't know right now it look glossy because um i did my face my face cleansing this morning and i have um i lathered my face up with uh palmer's cocoa butter and here is the other side so, yeah, guys. 
I can't be stressing y'all. That stressing ain't good. It will it will come out in different in many, many ways. Um break you out. Maybe cause you to have a stroke, a heart attack. So please don't be uh, stressing out here, y'all. And I know it's easy to say, but it's hard to do. Trust me, I know. So here are my oxtails. Here are my oxtails, and I got these from Costco. Okay, got these from Costco. That's how much they were. I'm gonna put them in the sink. I think dripping a little bit. I'm gonna wipe this stuff off the floor. Uh oh. Uh, what do I need? One second, guys. I'm going to put this right here. This here. I'm going to get a bone strainer. I'll be right back. One of my Tupperware bowls. I love Tupperware. I don't know if you guys can see that, but anyway. My strainer. Um, I have to figure this out. How y'all gonna get over here and see me do this? Um, let's see. Bring it down some. And right there, you guys should be able to see me um, do this. Let me get a lemon before I start touching this meat. We do I need lemon? Let me do two lemons. I have my lemon. Let me get my vinegar. Box, I thought I had clear vinegar, guys, but I don't. So, your box off the floor, your crystal box. Be using a little bit of this vinegar here. I'm gonna sit that there. I'm gonna sit my lemons there. I'm gonna cut my lemon.
in the bathroom and do it. Yeah. There's going to be times where you're going to be bored. Everything ain't fun and games all the time. It's the weekend. You're not at school. Y'all want to see these seasonings that I have? So we got this here, this here, this here, this here, go in the bathroom please, go use what's in the bathroom, go in there it is. This here, guys. You know what? Go, go in the room. You're not doing it. Because I don't like how you stomped away. Bye. You don't stomp away. Kids, right, y'all? Kids. White pepper. A bit of this. Y'all like, probably like, oh my goodness. This is going to be salty. I'm going to try this, guys. I don't know. Onion powder. Slap your mama. And coriander. A little bit of everything, okay? A little bit of everything. All right, let me cut open this here. the side. Look at this one. 
nothing huge. So small little. Okay, I'm gonna throw away the plastic, move right back. Go pick up the sponge and put it back where it goes. put y'all on top of my counter but um I don't want to do all that moving y'all around and all that so here is the lemon I'm going to squeeze it and drop it ah turn the water off squeeze it drop it I cut two lemons squeeze it harmony harmony stop Thank you, because I'm in the kitchen doing something. Thank you. You don't want me coming in there. Thank you. Close the door. And I still better not hear you. Try me. Close the door. And I should not hear you. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Kids think they can just always get their way. Um, talk, stomp, try to, you know, do stuff that you know you shouldn't be doing when some when a grown person in authority tell you something, right? All right. She wanted to do the sponge things that I do. ASMR. I was going to let her do it in the bathroom sink. Um, I taught her something. And she just got a little attitude and stomped away. I told her to do something. And I didn't like what, she, what her response was. So I told her she couldn't do it. So that's what she's mad at. That's what she's crying about. You know, kids got to understand they don't, can't always get their way. seen a couple of people do this here with the scrubbing your meat with lemon to get all those what impurities is that the word I might not even be saying the right word but you know all the gunk all the gunk of the meat from off the meat You guys, I was watching um, some videos this morning and I came across Coco TV. her Snoop Dogg, um, <laughs> her Snoop Dogg video. Guys, that was the most coolest creative thing Coco TV did. Um, I'm not talking about like, that's her first time doing a cool video. No. All her videos are cool. But what I'm saying is, she did something for a rapper, y'all. A rapper. She's not even from the West Coast, you guys. And she represented Snoop Dogg 
Not 100, 1,000%, 1, okay? She had it going on. She had the book, the cookbook. She had, I think it was the cup with his picture on it. She had the shirt on. She had the leaf earrings. She had, um, she had did one of the recipes out of his book, which was the dog, Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg Dogs or something like that. The hot dogs wrapped in, in the blanket. We used to call them piggies in the blanket. Hot dogs wrapped in the in biscuit or your crescent, whatever. But yeah, oh my goodness, I was so thrilled to see that she have done that. I was like, oh wow, I got to do this. I gotta do it. So, guys. Guess what? I'm going to do that, what she did. I already ordered some of my zines. So now, guys, I'm just going to try. I think I'm cutting the wrong way. To cut away from me. I don't even know if this is the right knife. Just going to cut some of the fat off, not all. I'm going to sit it on the sink here just to give me a little support. Um, yes, I will clean my sink off. Take a little bit more. Oh, that's a lot of fat on there, y'all. Oh my God, my God. Okay. That'll work. We gonna come back, guys, okay? We gonna come right back. All right, you guys. I am back. And I took as much of the fat off of those oxen. All that fat. Now I'm pouring off the I'm going to take the lemons out as well. And I'm going to mix them really good. Ah!
Try guys getting as much skin off the fatness off of here. This huge one. So let me know in the comment section how do you guys clean your oxtails on your meat? As you see, I scrubbed mine down with lemon and had it in soaking in the vinegar. And you might use a whole roll of paper towel. <laughs> Somewhat like that. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to season. But it is what I showed you guys. Garlic powder. It's not even open. I don't know why it just didn't take the top off. Garlic powder. You can never use too much garlic powder. Uh, onion powder. Look at that. Onion powder duck. Could never use too much of that. Onion powder and garlic powder can never use too much. Uh, just a little of this time. A little bit, guys. A little. A real little. Just a little of this as well. A little of that coriander. A little bit of that. Just a little bit. What is this? Black pepper? White pepper. 
But I say black pepper. Or white pepper, guys. Just a little. And also some black pepper. Little Mrs. Dash. Hello. Thank you. Are you guys Hold on, guys. Are I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to go and get <coughs> all these spices. <coughs> get my Amazon fresh order at the door. So I guess I'll do a little small haul as well. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to put a little brownie. So this was the Sazon pack. What I just put in there. That was that. The Sazon. The Sazon. Now we're going to do a little bit of the brownie. Uh, a little bit of the brownie. Just a little bit. We don't need a lot. That's going to give it a little more like brown color. We're going to do a little bit of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire. I'll do a little bit of drops of that. And we're not going to do this right now. We're going to wait. Be quiet, bro. I'm I'm recording. So now, guys, we finna dig in and mix it. It fell on its own. Thank you. So now we're mixing it all in, guys. Y'all want to see my sound? I'm gonna run out of the kitchen. Came in here with his chest all out. This is a huge one. Alright guys, so I'm going to let these sit here.
for some about a minute not a minute about an hour or two before I start to cook them um, and then I'll be back okay show you what's in the pot yeah guys so this is what's in the pot um, it's the butter the garlic herb butter mixture with the rest of the um, carrot celery and bread onions and bell peppers and stuff like that um, and here is the, the the touching of the oxtails they're finished they got browned up and now they're gonna go into this pot here and then go into the oven. See you on the next video. So here guys, we have Babe, he uh, is making the roux. So he put a little flour into the um, garlic, herb garlic butter and the bell peppers and all that good stuff up in there. The Trinity as they would say. <laughs> so that's cooking up. How are you guys doing? It is Sunday. Uh, hope your day is going good. What are you guys cooking for your Sunday meal? So we added a little water because everything is really seasoned up to the teeth. So we didn't put like no chicken stock, vegetable stock up in here. We didn't need uh, no more, you know, uh, seasoning added. So it just, it's just water that's going up into the pot for the roux. And so as you can see, this here is um, oxtails looking good, all browned up and everything. Wow. I can't wait to um, taste it when it's done. We want that to be a little thin out. We don't want it too thick, too, too thick. Like some, uh, 
don't want it too, too thick. This bag thinned it out enough. Um, I don't know if he might need to add more. I don't think so. But everything is coming along, looking good. Taste. Taste it. <laughs> Give me a little here, cause I'm, out. I'm holding my phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the palm of my hand. Yeah, that's how you taste it in our. I want to say it can use some seasoning. Okay, well we gonna still season yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, so I guess the water kind of took um, some of the um, flavor of it down. So we're going to oh. add... We're going to add some more... Um, here, hold on. We're going to add this here, beef, better than bouillon. We're going to add that into the... Um, the pot and then we're gonna come back guys okay all right all right guys and I am back so babe is gonna get ready to put these oxtails into the pot and then we're gonna put these babies into the oven You guys, I have cut so much fat off of these oxtails. Um, you know how they be coming sometimes. They be loaded up with all that fat white stuff around them. So they are getting loaded into the um, pot. Look at that big one right there, y'all. Oh, it. Mm-mm-mm. Talking about some eating good. So that's it. That's about to go in the oven. Maybe I'll show you guys halfway, halfway done. Cause they ain't done. They just got seared up. They ain't done. They ain't even halfway done. So I'll show you guys halfway once um, they're done. Oh, and the last touching is adding that red wine. Cooking red wine. No, it's not. What is it called? My bad, yeah. It's called Snoop Dogg 21 Crown. We were not supposed to put that in there. Yes, we were. We were That's, not. That was the is. other one that I showed you guys that was going to go in there. But he decided to pick up my Snoop Dogg's wine. Let me see the other one right there, man. Show them that one right there by the can opener. That was supposed to win in there. <clears throat> This was supposed to have went in there, you guys. I have some Snoop Dogg wine because I'm getting ready to do this challenge by Coco TTV. And I thought I purchased one wine bottle and then I got two. Turn the fire up. So, um, to boil a little bit. We're gonna come back uh, on the next video. Okay, bye. Real quick, guys, we are going to fry, not fry, air fry some chicken up so we season with some green beans, and then we're going to make some homemade mashed potatoes. All right. All right, guys. 
chicken in the air fryer, green beans, and some homemade mashed potatoes. See you in the next video. Hey y'all, here it goes. The garlic herb butter mashed potatoes. OMG. Fire. Here is the green beans. They are still cooking down. In that garlic butter, I mean garlic butter, herb garlic butter. Trying to get them tender. Yes, and we're going to come back. All right?